guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup collection. So I have a lot of makeup. I don't have as much makeup as most of the beauty gurus here on YouTube, but for a person in the world, I have a lot of makeup for someone with just one face. <laughs> um, I am building a house and I plan to have my own room, like beauty room. So my makeup collection and the way I store it is going to change. So I basically wanted to do this video now in order to compare how I have it now and how crammed everything is and what it's going to look like in a year's time when I am settled into the house and my makeup collection is organized in the way I would like it to be, or at least close to that. Um, but yeah, I have the Alex Five drawers, um, as many people do. I have my second, like, uh, I have two, so like, but like one of those is in storage, ready for moving, but everything into one set of drawers. It is very crammed, very full, very unorganized. Not how I would like it, however, it is what it is. So if you're interested in seeing what makeup I have, how I store it, then let's keep watching. So this is where I keep all of my makeup in one set of the Alex Five drawers. I do have a second set in storage, um, but that will come out once I'm in the house. So everything is in one set of drawers and you can imagine the chaos. However, I like to think of it as organized chaos. So yeah, next to me I have my brushes. I do get these from Kmart. I hope they stay permanent because I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out. But I had five originally and everything sort of fit really perfectly. And then I thought, I'll get a sixth one because having an uneven number was kind of driving me insane. <laughs> but yeah, check out my brush favourites video for my favourite drugstore brushes. But yeah, Just, like I'm not going to show you the top because it's like so messy because I'm like in the middle of getting things organised for packing and stuff. But I do keep some shiny lipsticks. So I have... Um, five drug cosmetics lipsticks. I have a Jeffree Star lip ammunition and three Colourpop lipsticks. I just put them all in this because they're all shiny so they can sit on top. And speaking of which, let's go into the first drawer, which is lipsticks. So, the very back. I actually keep everything in Bella boxes just because I have so many. I have no, no idea what else to do with them. I just keep lip balms, so... You know, I have so many, I get them in bell boxes and I need somewhere to put them. So why don't I put them in the lip drawer? They can go at the back. They kind of, bell boxes kind of fit pretty well in here, except for the gap down the side. But yeah, down the back is just products that I don't tend to use a lot. Um, check out my video on that one as well. Um, but yeah, in this one here, I have lip glosses and sort of like lippy pencils and sticks and like a random... Lip gloss, lipstick from Maybelline, just floating there. Um, so this one is new. Got that one. Um, that one's like a duochrome sort of one. I've got a unique lips, lip gloss, and a unique liquid lipstick. And then under that, I have um, some ColourPop lipsticks, um, some ColourPop lip glosses, some Elf matte lip cream sticks. Those are really good. Um, those, yeah, everything's really piled up on each other. I have some Maybelline Color Drama crayons, some more lip glosses from NYX, and CoverGirl, and some um, savvy lip glosses. So yeah, this is all about very much organized chaos and will look a lot better once I have my second set of drawers back in action. Um, because yeah. I'm just trying to get organized for this move and not hold too much stuff and all that sort of thing. Um, over here is liquid lipsticks. So this one is very full. Um, so I have a bunch of ColourPop liquid lipsticks. Like these mini ones that came in a set. I just have to hold things in another Bella box while I show them. I got this new Maybelline one. I'm yet to try that one actually. Got some more Colourpop, Colourpop. I've got two Australis Girl Bosses, so I need to try these as well. Um, Colourpop, more Colourpop. Um, I've got 
one of the NYX um, metallic cosmic metals ones. And then I have a bunch of the um, lip lingeries. Um, these ones are really nice. Another lip lingerie and a liquid suede. Um, then I have some Australis Velour lips at the back, some Rimmel Apocalypse, and some Kylie. And then I have... I have my lip liners in this little container in the front here. So I've got lots of Essence and Savvy. I've got a little Tarte and a Buxom one. Got some Chi Chi. Um, but yeah, I don't tend to spend a lot on lip liners. I feel like the drugstore ones are pretty good as they are. So I've got some Colourpop and some Kylie down the bottom as well. Um, and then in this front little bell box, I have basically random higher end stuff. I kind of personally like to divide my things between high end and drugstore. I don't know why. I guess just I prefer to wear drugstore makeup with drugstore, high end with high end. Like if I'm going to spend a lot of money on my face that day, you know what I mean? So MAC and Fenty, NARS, um, Kat Von D, Tarte, The Balm, Stila, um, Fenty more, some Urban Decay, more Kat Von D, um, some Stila down the bottom. But yeah, lots of random, a oh, benefit one. Um, Lots of random things in here. Uh, Jane Iridell, um, Too Faced. Yeah, basically it's all random higher end lip products. And then in kind of the gap between the Bella boxes, I have bullet lipsticks. So I've got some Shanghai Susie, um, some NYX ones, more NYX, Australis, um, L'Oreal, Rimmel, um, KM, and my Essence ones. Um, it's a Barry M one, I think. Yep, a Barry M. Yeah, just random lipsticks in there. So yeah, that is everything in my top lip drawer. Let's move on to the next one. So moving on to the second drawer. I keep sort of eye stuff in here. So at the very back, I have my lashes. So I've got some Ardell ones back there, some Demi Wispies and some Wispies. I've got a bunch of Glam by Manicare. Really liking those lately. And I've got a bunch of Nikia Joy ones at the back as well, as well as some like backup mascaras and lots of random stuff at the back there. Um, moving on to the bell box here. This is where I keep all my brow stuff. So I've got a mix of dry, um, drugstore and high end. So I've got some Chi Chi, a bunch of Essence, um, got some spooly sort of things. So I've got some Anastasia, I've got an Anastasia Brow Wiz, I've got Benefit, Model Co, It Cosmetics, um, Models Prefer. I've um, got an e.l.f. brow palette here, got Chi Chi Brow Pomade. Um, but yeah, just a bunch of random things. I've got Maybelline. Yeah, I don't do a lot with my brows, but that's basically everything I have in terms of brows. So yeah, some brushes down the side here, brow gels, um, and brow pencils, liquid brows, um, you name it. I've got a brow pencil for it. I'm more of a brow pencil kind of person, not so much into pomades. I do use this one on occasion, and brow powders, I will end up just filling in with a pencil on top anyway, so I'm, I definitely am a brow pencil sort of person. Moving on to this section here, I have the mascaras that I'm currently got open, so I've got this um, Max Factor one, I'm kind of liking it actually, I've got a Sephora little mini, I've got the Cosmetics Tight Line mascara, I've got some weird primer that my mum got me from Melaleuca. It's kind of just white. And then I've got my eyelid stuff. So I've got uh, eyelid primer from Face of Australia. I've got Essence, Elf, a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. 
Then next to that here, I have mascaras that are yet to be opened. So I've got lots of Maybelline, um, L'Oreal, Unique, NYX, Designer Brands, and all that sort of stuff. And then I've got little um, mini ones. So um, there's Benefit, Tarte, Too Faced, and all that. I've got two Better Than Sexes, Tarte. In that so they're basically waiting to go yeah and then down the front here I have liners so I've got the colored ones separated from like the neutral black brown and nude so um I've got my favorite nude one that's the models prefer one I've got some Becca and Essence um Mellow Cosmetics um Unique um Maybelline, L'Oreal, like you name it, I've probably got the liner for it, so. And then I've got some coloured ones, these are mostly Essence and Savvy. I've um, also got some Eye of Horus in here. Um, yeah, I think that's a colour theory one. And then down the side here, I have kind of like my random miscellaneous tools and stuff, so I've got... Um, like tweezers, eyelash curlers, sharpeners, like I've got an elf makeup remove pen, I've got lash glue, um, spoolies like from Ardell, Duo, and then a um, Glam by Manicare one just here, I just got um, yesterday, so very lovely of them to send me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I keep like the random tools. I wish I had like a little container, but it's just a, such a small area, there's no like, container that I could fit, so for now this is just where I keep my little miscellaneous stuff and yeah that is everything in my eye drawer as for the third drawer down this is where I keep like my face products so foundations powders concealer setting spray like all the face stuff so in this drawer again a lot of organized chaos I just have some face wipes and then up the back, I've just got backups like backup blenders and foundations and powders, just things I know I love that I have another backup for. Then in the very back, I have powders. So I'm gonna pull those out. Um, so I've got my Becca Hydro Mist powder. I did a review on that. Make sure you check it out. I really like it. So here in my powder drawer, in my powder compartment, I've got my unique youthful wear illuminating. Obsessed with this. If you have to get one thing from Physician's Formula, get that. And I've got my uh, Models Prefer Soft Touch, kind of similar to um, Hourglass, but again, still like a drugstore version. Then I've got a NYX blotting powder. Um, I've got my Maybelline Dream Matte powder. I know I have dry skin, but this is such an amazing powder and it's discontinued. It's my last one. I was obsessed with this. So basically I only use this on special occasions because I can't get it again. And I absolutely love this stuff. So good. Um, then I've got... Um, room will stay matte, like everyone. Um, Australis Fresh and Flawless. I do love this one as well. But it's got some coverage in it, so I don't think it's just going to be another translucent powder. Then I've got a Bourjois Healthy Balance powder. This one's a little bit too yellow for me. And it's their lighter shade as well, which is kind of annoying. They just don't have good pale range. Um, I've got... A Savvy CC powder. I really like this one. It's really brightening. Um, but yeah, if you'd love to see a best of Savvy, like I did with Elf and Essence, please let me know because I love for people to know what's good in those really like tacky, affordable stands. Like there are some really great products such as this one. And I've got a BYS powder. Um, this is shade medium. Absolutely love this stuff. Been using it since high school. It's just a pressed powder. Nothing exciting though. Um, then I've got the ColourPop no filter one. Check out my video um, testing this one out for the first time if you want to know what I think about it. Um, next to it is the 
We've got the ColourPop setting powder, the loose one as well. Also check out that video um, if you want to know what I think about it. But yeah. And then I've got my Laura Mercier. I absolutely love this stuff. Just don't go super crazy with it because it is super drying and matte. Um, but yeah, sucks Laura Mercier doesn't want to sell in Australia anymore. So we're going to have to go to great lengths if I want to get this again. And then I've got my Face of Australia one. Love this stuff. Got a backup. It's great. It's affordable. I love it. So yeah, that is my powders. Here in this Bella box, I have all my priming products. So I've got some MAC strobe cream. I've got this Smashbox um, primerizer. Love this. I, I kind of like using it with other primers just because it's like high moisturizer primer. Then I've got my Smashbox um, primer water. I kind of like use it. It's like a Fix Plus situation. Uh, I've got the Becca one. That is so luminous and gorgeous got a few of the Hourglass um, Mineral Veil Primers. Love this. I've got this Mecca Cosmetica um, Illuminating Primer. It's alright. Um, I've got the two L'Oreal Lumi ones. I want to do a vid video comparing those. Let me know if you want to see it. I've got the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This one is actually pretty good. Like, I really like it. So... Definitely something to try when you're at Kmart next. Um, I've also got an Australis See You Later Pores um, because my professional sample is getting low, so I wanted something else. And I hadn't seen much of that being discussed, so I kind of wanted to try it out to see if it was any good for you guys. And then I've got my Face Base Primer from Face Australia. It's kind of like an everyday sort of primer. I like that one a lot. And then I've got... Down the side, I've got just got a bunch of, like, samples of, like, foundations and concealers and, like, primers, sachets. Like, I was thinking of doing a video of or full face of um, samples. So, let me know down below if you want to see that. And then, following down in another Bella box. I've got my foundations. BB cream, CC cream, you know it, I've got it. So down the corner here, I've got the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. Should have got the Sheer Glow, I was a bloody idiot. Um, I've got the ELF Foundation, love this. Um, I've got the Maybelline Fit Me, not the hydrating, not the matte, just the normal one before they got rid of it. I wish I had waited for the... Um, the dewy one, but I've just got the normal old formula that they don't sell anymore. Then over here, I've got the Too Faced, I mean, not Too Faced, sorry, Tarte um, Shape Tape Hydrating Prime um, Foundation. Check out my first impressions video if you want to know what I think about that one. I've got the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. That one's super thick. Um, I've got my favourite all-time foundation, the Lasting Finish from Rimmel. I've even got a backup of this waiting to go. I've got the Breathable version as well. Obsessed with this. Love it so much. Like, seriously, you need it in your life if you want a, like, breathable foundation. Um, I've got the Marc Jacobs. This one's a bit dark for me, so, yeah. Let's not get into that. Um, there's the Infallible Pro Grow. I really like this one, but it kind of looks grey on my skin. I don't know if anyone else has that issue as well, but it kind of looks grey. Um, I've got the Colourpop No Filter Foundation. Again, check out the video if you want to know what I think about that one. Um, anyway, I've got the um, True Match from L'Oreal. This is the old packaging I know, but I really love it. So, yeah. Definitely a good one from the drugstore. I've got the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. A little bit yellow for me as well, but this is their palest, so it's really annoying that they just don't do good pale shades. I've got some lightning drops from Australis. Definitely need to use that with that one sometime to see if it actually helps and justifies the $80 foundation. <laughs> um, Essence All in One CC Cream. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but if they do, get your hands on it. It's really good. Um, I've got Steeler, um, Tinted Moisturizer. That one's really pale, actually. 
Uh, I've got my Savvy BB Cream. This is so awesome. I take this traveling. I love it. I might have to do that Savvy video then if I've got so many great products from them. Um, and then I've got a Garnier BB Cream. That one's okay. Just an Avon sample down there. And then I've got uh, my Chi Chi Super CC Cream. I feel like the pump is broken on it, so it's kind of hard to get stuff out. So yeah, I might have to look into decluttering that eventually. And then in this long container, I've got some tools back here. So some brushes. This is a brush that the handle broke off, but I love the brush so much. I've got my silicone sponge. Uh, check out my video if you want to know what I think about that sponge. I've got my current Real Technique sponge. Desperate need of a wash. I might have to do that today. So if you want to know how I do so, again, check out the video. I feel like this video is just me telling you to check out other videos. But again, like, it's such a great hack. And I've got a couple back here ready to replace this one. Like, it's got, like, tears and stuff in it. Like, but it is so well loved. <laughs> and then I've got setting sprays. So I've got the Dry Cosmetics Lay All Day. I've got this Mecca Cosmetica one. I've got... The Models Prefer Finale and my Urban Decay All Nighter. Love that one. I know it's the old packaging, but, you know, I will get the new one next time. And then in this long section, I've got concealers. So down here, I've got an M Cosmetics one. It's just not a great shade for me. I've got this Maybelline, like, green stick. I feel like it, better, it would be better if it was a cream rather than a stick. Then I've got my NARS um, Matte Pot Concealer. Love this. Um, then I've got a Models Prefer, like, sort of color correcting one. And my NYX um, Contouring um, Concealer Palette. And over here, I've got my Tarte Shape Tape obsessed need more shades just can't afford to get them right now um i've got the ColourPop concealer i actually really like this one i just wish it would work as you can see it's been getting lots of use um i wish it was better with that foundation but you know i've got two shades of the maybelline fit me love this stuff got two shades of the Maybelline Master Conceal. Again, love it. And two shades of the um, Age Rewind. As you can tell, Maybelline make great concealers and I seem to always get two shades. So yeah, I always get the light and the fair. Um, light being for face concealing and fair being for under eye highlighting. So yeah, that is everything in my face drawer. It is definitely organized chaos, as I said. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. So the fourth drawer, that is where I keep blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and face palettes. This is very much organized chaos, and I do not have room to even see all of my face palettes. I really want my second set of drawers. <laughs> so yeah. This is what this drawer looks like. Very much, very much chaos. <laughs> so I've got some stuff up the back. I've got this um, backlight palette from BH Cosmetics. I can't fit it anywhere. Um, and then in the back, I've got some more face palettes. I've got this Tarte blush sort of book and this NARS Angel Pride palette. I really love this. It's got such a beautiful, it's got the Laguna bronzer. These blushes are so gorgeous and I love that highlighter. Love this palette so much. All of these tart blushes, I love tart blushes. So to have so many all in one place is really, really good. And plus they've got a highlighter in each pan as well. Love that one. So... In the Bella box up the back, I've kind of got my contouring sort of stuff. I've got two of the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight. I've got the I've got the light one and then the dark one. The light one I bought myself. The dark one I kind of got given for free, so I'm not gonna say no to it. But yeah, I absolutely love this contour color. So amazing. See, so yeah, I have yet to try this one just because it is that little bit darker. And that banana looks so yellow. I also got my NYX blush in taupe. Definitely a cool contour colour for us power girls. 
And then I've got two of these um, contour sticks from Chella. I don't know why I have two. I think I was given one by one thing, given another one by another thing, and yeah. So I ended up with two. And then I've got my Models Prefer contour kit and my Astralis contour kit. Prefer the Models Prefer one, but at the end of the day, I only ever reach for my Revlon one. You go, Chloe Morello. Absolutely love. In the back here, I've got a bunch of the, I've got, well, the, all of them, the Models Prefer Another Dimension highlighting palettes. They were kind enough to send me those. I absolutely love them. They are so gorgeous. Like, look at that. Oh my God. And then I've got back here some blushes that and bronzers that I've just not been using lately. So I've just been hiding them up the back. It's got a Face of Australia one, a Savvy one. These Savvy bronzers are actually really nice. I prefer this one rather than the one that has the blush colour in it. But yeah, then I've got some Essence um, blushes there as well. So they kind of just hide up the back because I'm just, I have to rotate and, you know, I need room. And these just because like I feel on you and I don't know where to put them yet and I need my drawers back, you know, I need a second set of drawers and I'm struggling for space. So yeah, these got some more Fayless palettes here. I've got the hourglass one that was for the Mecca's birthday. Really love this. Great for travel. The blush there is so pretty. And then I've got the um Volume 3 of the Ambient Lighting Palettes. I didn't get the first two, but I really love this one. So pretty. Then below that, I've got the Jaclyn Hill and Becca one. Um, I got this because I was sick of everyone saying how gorgeous Champagne Pop was. And I wanted to try it. And I kept that to know the names. Um, and when I saw that it came in this palette, I was like, great, I can try some blushes and another highlighter on top of just the Champagne Pop. So it was kind of like, well, you'd be stupid not to get this in the palette. And then I've got an Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit down the bottom. I wish I could see my face palettes a bit better, but, you know, struggling for space. Then I've got this bell box here, and this is where all my highlighters are. And yes, they are so piled on top of each other. It's insane. So got my Anastasia Amrezi at the top. It is so, so good. Come on. That is stunning. Love this. Amrezi, you're my girl. Got um, Mary Luminizer. This is my first highlighter. And it kind of holds a special place in my heart, but I really love this one. I've got um, Becca Moonstone, um, Max Soft and Gentle. I've got the model's own highlighters. I've got a Jeffree Star one there. I've got this L'Oreal eyeshadow. It's kind of cracked, so I'm going to try to open that. I've got a little mini Becca Opal. I've got a little Becca Rose Quartz. Um, this Savvy eyeshadow, best highlight from the drugstore ever. I swear to God. And then I've got this Model Co. one. I think I've got that in the Bella Box. Um, this Cover FX one is a really like natural, nice, beautiful highlighter. I've got the Dandelion Twinkle. This is brand new. Um, I've got this little Fenty one that came with like the, the gloss bomb and like the mini set. I'd rather get mini sets. You can get more for your money, especially when you own so much stuff and you're never going to go through a whole one. It's pretty dark, but it's great if you want to go super intense. Um, this Mecca Cosmetica one, so good if you can get your hands on it. I got it in like the birthday packaging. But yeah, so good. Such a beautiful rose gold highlighter. Got a tart one, more tart. I've got the Astralis um, liquid highlights. Um, got a little Becca liquid opal and the um, Physicians Formula warm nude. And then in this section here, I've got drugstore blushes, drugstore bronzers, and then I've got high end blushes and high end bronzers. As you can see, the Drugstore section is a bit more fulfilled than the higher end, but you know, money. So in here I've got the Revlon um, Blush in Naughty Nude. I think this is gorgeous. And then I've got this CoverGirl sort of like ombre one. That's okay. Um, 
This one from NYX is kind of baked. Like, not baked, not kind of, but like super baked. Just be warned. And then I've got all these e.l.f. ones. Yeah, just pretty stock standard blushes, but they're pretty good, actually. I've got this Models Prefer Stick. Um, I only use it on very rare occasions and end up putting powder over top anyway. Um, I've got my um, blush mini from Maluka. This one's great for travel just because of how small it is. Um, and then I've got my Milani Luminoso, obsessed. Um, I've got the NYC um, Sunny Bronzer. That one was really great. And then I discovered the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And my favorite was kind of taken over by this one. Love this one so much. Like, my packaging is broken because it doesn't close anymore. Um, I use it so much. I've got a Savvy one that's pretty dark. Then this is on a Brands one. It's also pretty dark as well. So moving over to this side, I have the rest of the Luminizer collection. I've got the Cindy Lou and the Betty Lou. Don't use these ones as much, but they're still really pretty. Then I've got my favorite Tarte blush of all time. It's the Tarte Let Limited Edition one in Celebrated. It's just like, oh, I've just stuck my finger into it, but it's so perfect. And then I've just got some more Tarte Minis. Um, I've got this MAC blush in, um, Full of Joy. Um, it's purple, but when I was in America and I saw it, I was like, I do not have a purple blush. Like, this is so unique and I had to get it. Then I've got NARS, um, Orgasm. You've all seen that, of course. And then I've also got this mini NARS one in deep throat had to keep up on trend with that one then i've got my benefit blushes so i've got the rose gold the california and the dandelion and then i've got some like little like liquid and stick and stuff from lacquer and co and then i've got down here in the higher end bronzes my hula benefit of hula from benefit of course i've got this little um two-faced um chocolate soleil um and a little um Tarte Park Avenue Princess. And then, of course, the Bahama Mama from the Balm. Ooh, that one's really good. Just make sure you have a light hand with it, you know. Um, I've got my Tartist Pro Glow to go. I just didn't want the whole palette. Like, I just wanted something small. I didn't think I needed all six shades. So I got this one, and it's really nice. And then my beloved Becca. Um, this one is in Capri Coast. I kind of want the Barley Sands one as well. But I could only afford one. But yeah, that's that one there. It is so pretty. If you can get your hands on one of these, do it. Seriously, it's so good. Yeah, that is everything in my cheek drawer. It is so messy, but I know where everything is. And I can't wait to separate the face palettes out so I can have a bit more space once I get my new set of drawers. So that's that one. And the last drawer, that one has my eyeshadows. So this drawer, it's kind of super unorganized, but I do my best. So got the Norvina palette still in its box. I kind of need to haul that one and that, but I just recently got it. So, so excited. Then I've got some singles in here. So I've got some Becca singles. Those are really gorgeous. Urban Decay, Gosh, Steela, MAC, Sephora, Unique. Steal a liquid in um, Kit and Kama. Love this. Some benefit down the bottom there. But yeah. Got some Manakada as well. Um, and I've got this little trio from the balm. So that's in there. And of course, in every drawer, I've got samples down the side because that's just my life. Um, but in some palettes I've got here, I've got the Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. I've got the Nubian Jubius Place. I've got my current all-time favourite, which is the Soft Glam. Seriously obsessed. I've got the um, 
prison palette. That one's actually pretty fun. Got the chocolate gold. Look at that packaging. <laughs> My god. Um, I've got the Naked Heat. That one's really nice. I've got the original Naked. If you guys want to see a video, you know, saying goodbye to the Naked palette and basically my conspiracy theories about, you know, this funeral, please let me know because I do have some opinions on this. And it's not just, oh my god, it's so sad. Like, I have some, like, general conspiracies. So, then I've got the Shade and Light. Um, got, this was probably one of my first higher-end palettes um, because I thought it would be so good to have like an all matte palette um but most palettes come with matte shades so <laughs> believe it or not and then i've got the um zoeva rose gold that one's really pretty for a light look and then i've got the coastal sense revealed too i've also got which just takes up so much space like i don't know what to do with it the jaclyn hill morphe palette just so big. And then I've got some smaller palettes down the side here. So I've got the Too Faced Met, I mean not Too Faced, the Tarte Man Eater palette and the Tarte um, Sex Kitten palette. I've got this Colourpop Dream Street one. The shadows are kind of falling out, which is annoying as hell. Come on, Colourpop, get your shit together. Um, the Tarte in Bloom, obsessed. I've got the Shanax or the Remix. I didn't get the original because I didn't want the lips in the palette and then when they came out with the shades from the original and more shades I had to get it I love it and then down the bottom here I've got a unique quad so those are the shades in that one then in the back here in another bell box I've got some more drugstore single stuff so I've got a bunch of these Colourpop ones got a bunch of the essence liquid ones as well got this one from model co got the savvy stick some savvy singles an elf one that one's really pretty got some color tattoos from maybelline some astralis metallics um some savvy pigments um these l'oreal shadows so good like i've just got so much random drugstore stuff in this one taking some stuff out so you can see back here i've got these palettes from models for i bought them for the brushes but i kept them for reference um and then i've got this sort of magnetic one with some random stuff but i don't like to buy magnetic things though i just prefer buying proper palettes and then I've got some drugstore stuff in here. So I've got this Model Co. Mix thing. Model Zone, sorry. I've got some models, some Maybelline, some Face Australia. I've got a NYX palette. I've got another NYX palette. Some Face Australia. Um, models Prefer. Bourgeois. Um, I've got some of these... Um, Models prefer nude palettes, so I've got the nude, got the rose nude, and the nude mattes, and then I've got this Style London palette, and then the Maybelline the nude palette. So yeah, that slides in the back as well. That is my eyeshadow drawer. I've definitely kind of kept things in here to what I genuinely like. So yeah, there's definitely some more things to come to need to be added to this drawer, I bet. But yeah, I kind of am careful about what palettes I buy. So I don't have like drawers upon drawers of palettes. I just have things that I know I love, know I'm going to wear. You know, what I'm, you know what I mean? Like I just... I. When it comes to my makeup, I'm very selective about what I buy. I research what I buy. I don't like to waste my money on things. So when I do find something I don't like, it's very disappointing. So yeah, that's this straw. And that is everything I have in my makeup collection so far. Well, not so far, but right now. Because obviously things are going to change once I get my other set of drawers back. And, you know, I can reorganize. So I'll do an updated video on the way I do my makeup and storage. Um, once I'm in my new house and can redo my, you know, storage situation. So yeah, if you like the video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.